Checks Fantasy, Alizé Johnson has 23 points and 15 rebounds. Now, being real though, guys, Alizé Johnson is actually a really good basketball player. I've heard a ton about him in the G League, of course, former Pacer. He can ball. He just wasn't really given the opportunity. And finally, the Nets, they needed another player. I mean, they were one short of a roster spot. So they said, hey, let's go sign this guy of the G League that really broke out, Alizé Johnson, to a 10-day contract. And in his first game, give or take, they got blown out and they were shorthanded. But he put up 23-15, and 15, also three assists, two steals, a double-double. Again, <laughs> just had a great game. Really made the most of his opportunity. You'd have to imagine that he's going to receive another 10-day contract and then probably will get signed for the remainder of the season. I mean, the Nets just continue to add depth at the front court position. Again, it's just, what a game. 11 of 15 from the field. That's 73%. He's the first Nets since 1981 with a 15-15 game in his debut. So shout out to him. Uh, yeah, it was it was kind of just one of those games, though, that you just you kind of like just like threw out the window. I mean, it was a back-to-back -back against two very difficult teams in Portland and Utah. Harden wasn't playing due to that neck injury. Blake Griffin wasn't playing due to that knee injury that he had. So uh, overall, I'd say that when, when it's a game like this, man, you're short man. Just all you have to do is just go out there and just give it your all and do what you can with the opportunity that you're given because, like, nothing's granted in the NBA, man. So to see uh, Johnson go out there and have this type of game definitely makes me happy. Um, good for him. Hopefully the Nets can keep him for the remainder of the season. I mean, he definitely has star potential. He was good in the G League, and I know because a lot of people told me about him when I went live saying that, look, this team should sign Elizay Johnson, and I never really even looked into him. So it just goes to show, man, that there, there are hidden gems out there. You just have to find them. And Bruce Brown didn't shoot the ball well tonight, but uh, he didn't shoot it terrible. I mean, he was 4 of 11, but he, he had 10, 7, and 2. Uh, TLC, again, was 5 of 17. I mean, that's the thing about TLC is he'll have this one good game, and then he'll come back with another night like this, 5 of 17 and 2 of 9 from 3. He's shooting about 30% from three, which is just not going to get it done. If the Nets can package him with Dinwiddie for anything of value, like Norman Powell, for example, they, they have to jump on that. I, I don't think they'll end up with Powell, though, because the rumors are saying that he's just, he's just the, the Raptors are asking for way too much. Tyler Johnson, okay, night. Uh, Jeff Green did struggle, was 2 of 11, played just 17 minutes. But, uh, I mean, the biggest thing was was obviously Elise Johnson, Alizé Johnson. For sure, Claxton played 23 minutes, only had three rebounds and four points. Uh, I mean, Claxton and DJ are just pretty much non-existent without Kyrie or Harden out there. Guys, I can get them the ball and make sure they're in the right position. So I'm not too worried about that. But I, I knew they would lose this game. I mean, it was just obvious you're in Utah, a back-to-back, -back, a team that doesn't ever lose at home practically. I don't even remember the last time Utah uh, lost at home. If they did recently, that's my bad. But I don't think they have. So they're, they're just incredible at home. I mean, they don't lose very often. So... It was just one of those games. I mean, the, the Nets shot 36% from the field, 20% from three, 73 from the line. Uh, they did have 19 assists, which isn't horrible. Nine turnovers, again, isn't horrible. But they got out-rebounded 56 to 48. Uh, the Jazz had six blocks to their one. Um, they actually did have nine steals, which is pretty impressive, and only fouled 10 times. So, I mean, it was just one of those games, like, we're not going to take too much away from it, but uh, you should take something away from it, though. Not too much, but something. And it's that Alizé Johnson should be on this team moving forward. He should be seeing some minutes. I mean, to this point, do we actually even need DeAndre Jordan? Like, I'm being completely serious. I mean, DJ is making about $10 million a year for three years, $30 million. Uh, He doesn't put that much effort in. He's just not as explosive as he was in his LA Clipper days. I mean, honestly, I think Blake Griffin should be playing more minutes. I mean, at least Blake is when he came in against the Blazers off the bench, I mean, he had a pretty good game, and he's he's putting in the effort, which is what matters. So I'd like to see some of these younger guys get more minutes, like Alizé, for example, like um, Nicholas, of course, and uh, drumming would be great. So would uh, JaVale McGee. We know you're never going to question JaVale McGee's energy. Dude has always given his all blocking shots, getting rebounds. He's been pretty good of late. That, he's even been better than DJ. I mean, he's on a worse team as well. So uh, we know uh, Jarrett Allen is there, of course, former net. We all know who he is. Uh, Wish he could have stayed with us, but just it was time to move him. I mean, in order to get Harden, they had to. They tried to actually move Landry Shamit for a first, but no one was willing to do so, so they had no choice but to just trade Jared Allen. He is going to get paid too, so keeping him would have been an issue when you already have a cheaper version of Claxton. So I think it worked out in the end. I know a lot of people didn't really like trading Allen, and they said that the Nets wouldn't have a rim protector, they wouldn't have defense, but little did they know that Nicholas Claxton was returning from an injury. And wow, does he look special again tonight? It is what it is, man. Uh, do you think uh, Lee Johnson will see more minutes at, um, when the Nets get uh, Kyrie and Harden back? 
Or do you think that this is just one of those games where it was a blowout loss, he played 33 minutes just because they hadn't have a lot of bodies, and they wanted to get him in there, he's on a tank contract, see what he can do. Again, just get a guy out there that can play minutes and fill in some of the, the holes, but um, I think it's a little bit of both. Yes, I think a blowout and him coming in against second stringer, really, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that difficult for him to go out there. I mean, he's a G, he was amazing in the G League. He's going up against players that are definitely not G League. I mean, they're on an NBA roster. They're going to be good. But it was just these guys in a, a lopsided game. And so I, I can see both sides. But personally, I do think that Johnson has a bright spot in the NBA. Whether that be with the Nets is the question. They, they definitely will give him another 10-day. Uh, whether or not they sign him for the remainder of the season is the question. I personally think they should just to have another body out there. Uh, another big, you know, he could play the four, the five. I mean, he's more of like a four being real, but he could definitely play some of the small ball center for sure. But no, it's your boy Swaggy. I'm out of sign. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, man. It's about 12:56 a.m. Uh, Nets world, scary hours. <laughs> Not tonight, but we'll be back, man, for sure. Peace, guys. <laughs>